I am Anil Kumar and here are two practice questions for you. You need to find equation of tangent line to each curve at the given point. So the first function is f of x equals to square root of 3x cube and the point given to you is 3, 9. The second one is square root of x minus 2 divided by cube root of x and the point given to you is 1 minus 1. So I have purposely taken these radical functions since some of my students have difficulty in working with these functions. So we'll go through some steps and then I think you'll be in a position to write down the equation of tangent line. So first point is whenever you have a radical function, write it as exponent form, right? So let me write this f of x as equal to square root of 3 is a constant. So I'll write square root of 3 separately and then we have x to the power of 3 over 2. So that is how it is, right? 3 over 2. The point is p39. Now we'll, we can now apply the power rule to find the derivative. So derivative f dash x is equals to square root of 3 times 3 over 2 x to the power of 3 over 2 minus 1. Let me write here 3 over 2 minus 1, correct? So that gives you, we can simplify it a bit. So we write 3 square root 3 over 2 and here you can see it is 3 minus 2 is 1, so we get square root of 2 here, square root of x, right? So x to the power of half is this. You need to find the slope of the tangent line at the point and then the equation. Point is x equals to 3, so f dash of 3 is equals to, we'll substitute 3 here, right? So we get 3 square root 3 times square root 3 over 2, right? And uh, that gives you, 3 times 3 is 9, square root 3 times square root 3 is 3, right? So 3 times 3 is 9. So we have slope of this at 3 as 9 over 2, right? So so that is how you get slope of uh, the tangent line at the given point. Since you know the slope, you can find the equation of tangent line using y equals to mx plus p. So slope is 9 over 2. We can substitute m for 9 over 2. And the point x value is 3, y value is 9. So we'll write 9 equals to 9 over 2 times x value of 3 plus b, right? So that gives you 9 minus 27 over 2 equals to b. Or from here, we can say this gives you b value as equals to 18 minus 27, right? So 18 minus 27 is minus 9. So we get minus 9 over 2 as the value of b, right? So substituting this value, we know equation of tangent line y equals to slope, which is 9 over 2 x plus b, which is minus 9 over 2, right? So that is the equation of your tangent line. So follow these steps and find the equation of the tangent line on the second function, right? You can pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions, okay? So let's begin by simplifying this fraction a bit. This, so we'll, we can write this as square root of x over cube root of x. Do you see that? Minus 2 over cube root of x. Now, this is x to the power of half minus x to the power of 1 over 3. So let me write it in exponent form, x to the power of half minus 1 over 3. That's a cube root. Minus 2 times x to the power of minus 1 over 3, right? So this is a better way of writing. Let me rewrite this as f of x equals 2, x to the power of 3 minus 2, which is 1. So we get 1 over 6 here minus 2 x to the power of minus 1 over 3. So f dash x will be equals to, applying the power rule, 1 over 6 x to the power of 1 over 6 minus 1, which is minus 5 over 6, minus 2 times minus 1 over 3 x to the power of minus 1 over 3 minus 1, right? So it is minus 4 over 3. We need to find slope at x equals to 1. So f dash of 1 is equals to 
1 over 6 1 to the power of all this will be 1 minus minus and minus becomes plus let me write plus 2 over 3 right x is 1 so 1 to the power of minus 4 over 3 is going to be 1 so that gives us 6 is the denominator so to get 6 we have to multiply this by 2 4 plus 1 is 5 so slope is 5 over 6 therefore we could write equation of the line as y equals to 5 over 6x plus b to find the value of b let us substitute 1 and minus 1 minus 1 for y 1 for x plus b and that gives you the value for b as b equals to uh, minus 1 minus 5 over 6 and that is minus 11 over 6 correct so we can now write down the equation of the line as y equals to slope 5 over 6 x minus 11 over 6 right at times you could also write it in standard form multiplying everything by 6 6 y equals to 5x minus 11 bringing them to together minus 11 equals to 0 well that's up to you and sometimes it depends on the question also the question may require you to write equation in standard form right so that is how you should be solving such questions i hope this helps you to do some of the questions in your exercise thank you and all the best